Hello, good morning. My name is Dr. Manu, a medical doctor specialized in ophthalmology with a passion to see you well, mentally, spiritually, psychologically, and of course, physically. It is always a great opportunity for me to come here on this channel and discuss health with you. Because you know, my friend, health is something that you and I must be in charge, in control. Do not let your health in someone else. Hands. If at all in the last century there has been any disease that have claimed many lives in a silent manner is obviously hypertension. And you and I, my friend, must do all what we can do in order to prevent this condition from happening to you or to anyone else that we know about. That is why I'm coming on this channel my friend, to interact with you, discussing with you, and try to bring across to you a little information that I have that will help you and I to prevent this condition called hypertension. That is why I am asking you to call your friends, family, and come around so that you and I together we will discuss and come to the perfect knowledge, if possible, on what is killing our people especially Asian and black community in this country. Join me after the break so that you and I will dismantle what it is about hypertension. Thank you. Hello. And welcome back. Today, our topic is hypertension. What is hypertension? Since the middle of the last century, if there is any disease that has taken the life of so many people in a silent manner, is hypertension, the so-called high blood pressure. And we need to understand that hypertension is linked to diabetes. That is why when you see people with diabetes, they are at the risk of developing hypertension. Therefore, you and I must understand that hypertension is as a result of high blood pressure, being high. And high blood pressure is one of the most important measures in the understanding in long-term health, if not the most important. Far more important than your individual weight. The range of blood pressure provides a quick picture of the overall health picture and health. What is in its very simplicity? Blood pressure is the measure of the force against your blood vessel. The passages that transport nutrients that keep you alive. It is the blood vessel that carry the blood from your heart to your brain and the rest of your body. A certain amount of pressure is required to get the blood moving across the body. It is important to understand blood pressure and what lifestyle choices you can adopt to keep the blood pressure in its safe range. Therefore, blood pressure is the measure of the force of blood pushing against the blood vessel walls. The heart pumps the blood into the blood vessel which carry the blood throughout the body. It is therefore important to note that throughout the day and night, the blood pressure naturally goes up and down. It is very normal to the blood pressure to go up while you are moving about and down when you are asleep or even resting. While the natural movement is normal, it is when the overall blood pressure is constantly, constantly high, even when you are resting, that requires attention from the medical practitioner or the medical professional. High blood pressure is medically known as hypertension, which means that the blood pressure is constantly too high and that translating the heart must work hard to pump blood around the body and constitute to the hardening of the arteries or arteriosclerosis. Therefore, high blood pressure is very serious and if ignored can lead to heart Failure, kidney failure can lead to heart and circulatory diseases like heart attack and stroke. It can also cause kidney failure, heart failure, problem with your sight and vascular dementia. Now, how do we measure heart blood pressure? I will create another video where I will specifically 
talk about this. But right now, since we are defining what is high blood pressure, it is normal for us to at least bring a little bit of information as to how high blood pressure is said to be high. Now, when measuring blood pressure, blood pressure measurements and reading are made up of two values. Systemic blood pressure. Systemic blood pressure is the pressure when the heart beats. When the heart is beating, that is the systolic blood pressure pressure and it's always that number that you have on the top you see therefore elevation of this systolic blood pressure predicts the risk of cardiovascular disease better far more better than the increase of diastolic blood pressure because it is systolic blood pressure on the top and then the diastolic blood pressure down and then the increase of the systolic blood pressure is much more critical than the diastolic blood pressure we have to notice that we have to understand that in the measurements of high blood pressure now we talked about the systolic blood pressure the inferior number is the diastolic blood pressure and what is the diastolic blood pressure the diastolic blood pressure is the pressure of the blood vessel when the heart mass relaxes or the level of the blood pressure when the heart relaxes between the beats remember very well between the beats when the heart relaxes between the beats to measure the pressure on the vessel between the beats when the heart relaxes that is the diastolic blood pressure it is also viewed as the pressure within the arteries when the heart is filling it is the lower the lower of the two sign measurements for example 120 over 80 80 year is the diastolic blood pressure and 120 is the systolic blood pressure. I hope we have managed to understand. Now, for many medical practitioners, diastolic blood pressure has been considered the most important component of the blood pressure and the primary target of antihypertensive therapy. Blood pressure then is measured in units of mercury. The readings are always given in pairs with the upper systolic value first followed by the lower diastolic value. Therefore, it is vital to you and I to understand very well what high blood pressure is. The heart is a muscle that pumps blood around the body. As it travels, the blood delivers oxygen to the body vital organs. Sometimes a problem in the body makes it harder for the heart to pump the blood. This could happen, for example, if an artery becomes too narrow. Persistent high blood pressure can put strain on the walls of the arteries. This can lead to a variety of health problems, some of which can be life threatening. Therefore, hypertension is a major public health problem, an important area of research due to its high prevalence and being a major risk of factor for cardiovascular diseases and other complications. This is supported by study conducted by Operil et al. in 2018, concluding that hypertension is the most common preventive risk factor for cardiovascular disease, including coronary heart disease, heart failure, stroke, myocardial infarction, atrial fibrillation, and peripheral artery disease, chronic kidney disease. Now, it is very important to also understand that hypertension alone is the leading cause of all premature death worldwide. Therefore, it is vital to understand that hypertension is the leading cause of mortality and disability worldwide. The leading cause is hypertension due to its form of silent condition. Because by the time that people are aware that they have hypertension, sometimes, most of the time, it is too late is probably as a result of stroke or kidney failure that many of them come to understand that they have hypertension. Therefore, you and I must be very, very aware of our body and come to understand how to prevent this condition called hypertension. Always remember that on this channel, you and I are discussing about many topics that will help you and I to better prepare to face all the conditions that can against our health. Nonetheless, always remember that all what we say and do on this channel is only informative only. With all your problem that you can have medically, please speak to your general practitioner. This is Dr. Manu reminding you that your health will start to be improved 
to see an improvement when you pay attention to what it is in your place. I love you. See you in the next video.